Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Championships have reigned historically on the Sunshine State. Both the Gators and the Seminoles have claimed their share. Florida and Florida State getting set to hook up in the battle for the Governor's Cup. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep to open up the ball game here we go folks this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback getting ready to take the field in their final home game in their career and the final games always have an extra emotional element in them we'll see if they can channel that emotion and turn it into a victory the quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive Gets it. He's in space. And he is drilled at the 48-yard line. That is not easy to stop. The quarterback hit his man on an out route, and the defender was in man coverage. As a defender in man coverage, you cannot get beat deep. And as a result, the underneath routes are going to be there. And as you can see, it worked out great for the offense as they were looking for a new set of downs. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 48. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Tackled for a loss. Well, the question now is how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Third and 13. Ball on their own 45. Passes it to the middle of the field. He's taken down at the 42. the snap and this one is a beauty this punt goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback the Gators offense basically predicated on what this kid can do the thing about, I love about this guy Brad is is just the intangibles that he brings to the table we've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team when things are going well he's patting everybody on the back when things are not going well he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go so not only does he physically have the tools but also I really love the way he approaches the game from their own 25 yard line second down And they get nice yardage on that run. Now 
he's scrambling. And they got it. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Coley, back deep to return. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's to the 40, and he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Florida is loving this crowd support, and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's going to allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Tackled after a decent pickup. That's a game of seven on the That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. catch and he's got room here knocked out of bounds at the 39-yard line good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession that's the right way to catch a pass first down 10 yards to go ball on the 39-yard line and he's tackled around the 26-yard line that's good for a gain of 13 yards that makes it first and 10 Choose the mic. Let's go one more. Ready. He makes it to the 25-yard line. From the 25-yard line. Second down. Looks for his running back, incomplete. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He fires this one. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Defense stiffens there and gives it back to their offense. drives important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He's on the run. And down he goes around the 39-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. First and 10, ball on the 39-yard line. And he's tackled after positive yardage.
Makes the grab past the marker. And they make the stop at the 49. Smith comes away with around seven yards on that catch, and that'll also give him a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Knox on the delay. Tackle made at about the 49. The defense was all over that draw play. And they got very good containment on the halfback. He had nowhere to go with the football. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Three down, three down. 90 is the mic. Green nine, green nine. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. They'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 29. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That brings him second and five. Come on out here, come get some. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Now he's flushed and they got it. This kid just doesn't stop. That's his second sack of the game. down and they need to get it to the 19. Fires quickly and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Arkansas and LSU hooking up in the battle for the golden boot. The Tigers, they believe in the adage, pass the lead, run to win. They pass, they lead with the first touchdown of the game. The Tigers have the lead, 7-0. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. Florida to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. The Gators really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He sails it long. He's tackled at the 39. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. They come out in an empty backfield. And he hits him hard at the 42-yard line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Nice run, and he's brought down. Game seven. That makes it third and seven. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. Tackle around the 28-yard line. This is a big first down for this offense. I think it's another good example about how important it is to have an awareness about you as a wide receiver. 
the wide receiver did a really good job of knowing exactly where the first down marker was and he made sure to get the route at least to that point so when he made the catch and got hit he had the first down we played one quarter the Gators lead 7-0 And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Fires quick. He's got another one. Brought down at the 20-yard line. That's a gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. This offense has really stalled on their last two trips to the red zone. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Good hook up there. They get an eight-yard gain and a first down. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. They'll get him for a loss. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down around the three-yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Nearly picked off, but he couldn't hold it. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. Dives for extra yardage. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it first and goal. It's first down. They're inside the five. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires quickly. Touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick update now. Here's Reese. Arkansas and LSU hoping to apply the boot to the other's backside and claim the golden boot. Let's take yet another peek at this game. These two teams hate each other. Hate is such a strong word. But it really fits here. LSU leads it 10-0. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at 7 in this one. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Gets to about the 27-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 27. Dog four, green nine. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Loss of one on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Ninety is the mic. Easy, easy. And here's a quick throw. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. First and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line.
tackles him hard at the 47. That's good for gaining three yards. That makes it second and six. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. He's on the run. He gets to about the 31 yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. This is the eighth play of this drive. Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. Now the defense has it. The safety. Big opening. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. To the 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This was a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. And he adds the extra point. Florida State is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Connor's play at quarterback has been kind of what we expected. He's one of the best in the country. The only problem is they're lacking in some other areas right now, I think. Well, I think this offense is doing everything that they can to be able to win this game, but that's why it's a team sport. The offense and this quarterback, who we expected so many great things from, they can only do so much. And eventually, the defense and the entire group, they're going to have to play well if they want to get out of here with a victory. He looked like he just sort of aimed that one. Yeah, he didn't look very natural throwing the football there, and the result was an underthrow. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 25. He takes it right side for a good game. his way to the 39-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 39. Fires out quick. It's picked off. He's at the 30. Moses with the interception. When he was facing a big pass rush, the ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. From the 27-yard line, first down. Florida State is up by a touchdown. And he's taken down at about the 17-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Larry, Larry, Larry. Watch two. Watch two. Watch two. And watch that. And watch the ball. Throws, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. The Gators are looking for some new players to step up this season, Herbie. And, you know, every team needs a new star to be born year in and year out because you lose a fifth of your roster to graduation every year. From the 17-yard line, it's second down. And 
these tackles at the 14. That makes it 37. That sets them up with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the three. Let's see if they can muscle this one in. Defense stacked in tight here. Touchdown, Florida State. move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They looked like they practiced that one a few times. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Red two, orange three, orange three. They bring him down in the backfield. Call a loss of one yard on the play. yard line. First down. Scrambling around. And they make the stop at about the 41. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Florida is going to have to use their second time out of the half. up six yards with a catch. He scrambled. Decides to slide. You know, they pick up some great yards here on the ground. You got to be wondering if the quarterback would love to have a chance to throw the football to be able to see if he could get the first down. But nonetheless, they do pick up some good yards. Kicks up, and he nails the long field goal. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Border rivals in the SEC, Arkansas and LSU square off, hoping to claim the golden boot. And we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. Despise, disdain, dislike. Other than that, these two teams get along really well. The Tigers lead 17-3. All right, thanks, Reese. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. Florida State's in front by 11.
We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This lead at halftime is not insurmountable. You know, you watched the first half, and I really felt as if this team played hard. They played with a lot of energy and a lot of emotion. Just to be honest about it, David, the coaching staff seemed to be a half step behind. The other guy was ahead of them. They knew their tendencies. Second half, you expect to see them break some of those tendencies? Sometimes you have to. I mean, sometimes you come out, and obviously you you put your game on tape. They, coaches know what you're going to come out and what to expect from you. And sometimes quarterbacks, they don't like to push the ball down the field. They like to take the easy stuff. you got to take it away. Take away what they do best. And you could tell the first half, they weren't ready for what came their way. Now it's your, it's your job at the half to come in, put a plan together, be more aggressive. You're down two scores now. You can't afford to be cautious. Put something together to come out to have success in the second half. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kurt, ready for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled right around the 24-yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down. So the scramble goes for nine yards. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. 90 is a mic. And two, three, 15. They'll bring him down at the 36. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 36. He makes his way to about the 48. At the 50 yard line, a two yard run by the halfback. That makes it second and eight. From the 50, it's second down. And now he pitches it, and he is drilled at the 47 yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Back, 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 back. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 44-yard line. The defense was ready for that pass and catch, and they did a good job to hold them for such a short game. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Slings it. Brought down around the 38-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. it to the 38-yard line. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they down. think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Dog four. 
Big opening. Brought down with only one man to beat. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. It's the 11th play of the drive. Taken down at the 16-yard line. That's a three-yard pickup on the option. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 16-yard line. He gets out to about the 15-yard line. Call it a game of one yard. That'll bring up third and six. And this is the 13th play of this drive. Short pass, middle of the field. Big play, and it's first and goal. First and goal, and they need a touchdown here to get back in this game. Touchdown, Florida! Makes the PAT. Bell looks ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play could win this game. This offense has found the end zone on their last two drives, and they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. Florida State is up by four. He's going left, and this one falls incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. his fifth sack of the season. I'll tell you what, this guy seems to give maximum effort on every play. He is so hard to keep off the quarterback. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Jenkins is waiting for the snap. And this one is a beauty. Parker fields it at the 40. Out of bounds right around the 48-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He makes it to the 48-yard line. No game on the play. That makes it second and ten. Second down and ten to go. Ball on the 48. Three down, three down. 90 is the mic. Knox on the counter, right side. Runs it right. Nice pickup.
go with a screen, and it's going the other way. The defense now has two interceptions in the game. I think there was a miscommunication there on the offensive side of the ball. I think maybe the receiver ran the wrong route, but regardless, still great play by the defense. First and ten, ball on the 46. Watch the run, watch the run. They come out in a five-wide set. Watch two. Watch two. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry, and he hits him hard at the 40-yard line. On the tackle at the 40-yard line. First down. Watch the slant, watch the slant. To the right. Florida State is up four. He gets to about the 31-yard line. That brings up second and one. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Mike two, Mike two. Zips it to the back. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Five yard line. It's third down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. That's a great tackle at the 30 yard line. For a nice game. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it first and ten. From the 26 yard line, it's first down. Mike two, Mike two. And he's taken down at the 18. We head to the final quarter, and we've got a great game on our hands. The Seminoles lead it by four. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. 226, 226. Florida State holds a four-point lead. Quick throw, touchdown, Seminoles. And he adds the extra point. A quick update now, here's Reese. Arkansas and LSU hooking up in the battle for the golden boot. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Arkansas, they're in danger of dumping their third straight game. LSU leads it 27-6. Our game, 28-17. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Seminoles' defense came to play, and man, they have played beautiful. How many do they have dressed out there? 12 or 13 <laughs> defenders? I mean, they're flying all over the field, and this poor offense just can't move the ball. They have no chance. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. That'll bring, bring up second, up second and 11. 11. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. Grabs it and hammered right there. He's tackled right around the 36-yard line. 
It's first and ten. Ball on their own 36. Run left side. He gets out to about the 44 yard line. That makes it second and two. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's the ninth play of the drive. Walker on a counter, left side. And he shoved out of bounds around the 39-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 39. Now he's scrambling. And he's level at the 40. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. This is the 11th play of this drive. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Walker picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it 37. Well, a familiar situation for the offense is they try to convert another third down. They've converted three already. Steps up in the pocket. They'll make the sack. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. They've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Rose incomplete, knocked away. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 49. That's a game of 10. First down. From the 49-yard line. First down. Two, two. Lost the pass. Ready. Fires out to his wide out. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. That'll make it second in inches. Less than three minutes in the game. Let's go. 
nice run there. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first downs. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33. And they get nice yardage on that run. Florida is going to use their first time out of the half here. That'll give them 1,000 yards rushing this season. I just continue to be amazed by this back's vision. There are not that many who are better at finding a hole and hitting it hard. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Good pickup, and with a new set of downs, a chance to kill even more time. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Just throws this one away. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he is drilled at the 13. Malone picks up seven yards with that catch. The Gators using their third and final timeout. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Going to the end zone, and it's coming back out. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. Just under two to go in the game. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Taken down at the 27-yard line. That makes it third and three. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. to go and they make the stop right around the 32 yard line <laughs> steps out of bounds at the 29 That'll make it 77. second down at seven coming up here Ball on the 29-yard line. Hey, man up, Heath. Man up, Heath. 90 is the mic. Go. Go. Throws a bullet over the middle. Tackle around the 19-yard line. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. And down he goes at the 14. Here's play number 10 on the drive. We have less than a minute to go. He zips it. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. Late in the fourth quarter, one possession game, and this is where poise really takes over. Whoever shows it will win the football game. They'll go for two in this situation. 
They got it. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is Florida State 28, Florida 25. He's tackled at the 38-yard line. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. From the 40-yard line, second down. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Florida State 28, Florida 25. As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? Florida State came out here today and played with the heart and intensity that you love to see in a rivalry game. They should be very proud of their victory because wins don't come easy between these two teams. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kerbstreet, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.